Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will maybe we will use C plus and we are going to start with UI. And here, what I will just do is create here a folder. I will say here UI. And inside this, I will create a UI for the radial bar. Similarly, I will create the folder. Let me just rename it as the A got capital. And inside this, I will create a material. I will name it M underscore material. I will create a material instance for this. I will call this MI dot radial. Then just open this material by double clicking on it. So we will modify some settings. So here what I will just do is set here my carrier to user interface. And either than setting this to opaque, I will see here transclude. And here we will start with creating the circ radial circle. To do that, we can radial gradient to create a circle. So if we start viewing this code, so as you can see, we are getting a gradient. So what if we change its density? Then let me just show you what will happen. So let's keep it at 60. Okay, so as you can see, we are getting a fine circle. So the, the density is the dark. So, if we turn it something to 100, we will get more fine circle. But I have got a proper result with this value. You can also set it to 100, any value as you like. Just experiment this for a long time. Then you will find the correct value and get the radius to a constant. And we will just decrease the radius by of here by just 0 0.5 so it gets fit and here i will similarly copy this paste it drag it over here and here also i will add this drag this to the density and here what i will just do is double click on this to create a a break node and the radius which I will give you right over here which will be what I will just do is for the radius I will say here subtract and I will just give this value right over here okay and then we will be going to subtract this with our thickness, so I will say a constant, and here we will say convert to parameter. I will say a thickness, and let's set the thickness to let's say 0 0.25. So now, if I show you the difference, when I plug in the radius, so if I start previewing this node, so you can see we are getting a difference of the size. So you can see the difference. So if we subtract the circle, then what will happen that we will get a mask of these both. So means the center of these both which we will subtract. So we are not adding it, we are subtracting it to get it. And if we start previewing this, then you can see right now that we are getting a mask of. So what I will just do is change the thickness to that says 0 0.1 to get a finer radius which we need and then I will plug this uh, then I will what I will just do is plug this into a multiplex function to add a percentage so to add a percentage what I will just do is use Use a uh, texture coordinate. Let me see here texture coordinate. So, uh, if you haven't converted the vector to radial, so let me just show you. 
So what we have to do while converting our vector to radial, what we just do is rotate this. We use custom rotator to rotate these values of the texture coordinate. And if I start putting this node, so as you can see, we are not have done anything. So if I just say here a constant, so we are not still not rotating anything. So as I say here view point two five. So now you can see the change in these two. As you can see that the values have got rotated, and then here what I will just do is say here subtract. And let me just bring it a bit up. And here we'll see subtract the constant of zero point five. Then if I show you this value, which will give us some results like this. So we want to make it look finer. So what I will just do is then to do that I will just say here multiply and see here a vector two. So if you don't get the vector two right over here, so what you can just do is hold two and left click to create a vector two, and I will start doing this one. You will say one by minus one. So boom. So as you can see the magic, what's happening as you can see, and then what I will just do is take this multiply to the vector to radial. When we have completed all our operation, then we will just get the angles. So if I just show you. So we don't need these colors. We just need is the angle. So I will say angle, and here we'll say add. So I will show you what will happen when we add this. The percentage. I will say here add constant again, and I will say here convert to parameter. I will say here percentage. So as you can see, if I change it to zero point two five, which is a quarter of it, so you can see the change. So we are getting a white curve, and you can see the difference in these two. And then what I will just do is flow these values. So then what will happen? That we don't need this gradient. We just need is the mass of the percentage. So this is our mass. So what I will just do is take the radial curve and cut it out to get a proper value. So what I will just do is drag this to closer. Yes, select these all. Drag it behind. Then what I will just do is plug this float value into the B of the multiply. So now if we see that we get a radial curve like right over here. I will set here a final color to a vector parameter. Here we will say bar color. And let's set this to like green for it. So let's set this to red, and just plug this. And if we stop doing this, so let it create it. So as you can see, what we have just done is create a a proper texture. So if I modify the percentage value. So what I will just do is right over here. Okay, so I will save this and see here, and I will just close this. 
and go to the material instance of this i will again add this over here change this and in the material instance just tick these values so as you can see we can change the percentage of the bar and the percentage is only from 0 to 1 1 means 100 percent and 0 0.75 means opposite of it. so like that you can mess up with the values and the thickness also you can change so thickness as much you need so what we are just doing we are just subtracting that circle which i showed you so let's keep it with 0.1 and we can also change our color right over here So I will keep it pretty because it's looking nice. And here we will save these changes after you have created the materials which we need. So then the next thing what we will just do is go to here to the file and say here new CPP class and see here show all classes. Search for widget blueprint. Search here for user interface, you will get your widget and so here user widget. Say so your next and rename this to let's say UI underscore CPP radio. Okay, and set this to public and say so create the class. So now the CPP file has been created, so it must open your Visual Studio. And if it doesn't open, so then you can run it manually from here, saying Visual Studio. And then you will find this H file in this public folder and CPP file in the private folder. So what we will do is start with the H file, but before starting, what I will just do is right click over here on the folder panel and see here blueprint class. And inside this blueprint class, what we have to just do is search here for our CPV file. So here we have our UI underscore CPP radial. And just name it UI Radial. Widget. Okay. So after naming it, just double click on this file. Okay. So now it has loaded it. So what we have to just do is add a size box here, drag, search for size box and drag it here and then we have to, we, we have to drag the image component. So here what we will just do in, in the appearance, we will open the brush panel and set it to bind if you don't have and then just come here. And here search for our material which have, we have created. So in our case it is mi underscore radial bar. So if you have selected another name for it, then no problem. Okay, so here we have and see here full screen to desired. And click on this. And here what I will just say. Just tick this both child layout and so here 200 by 200. So here we have our widget compile it. And what I will just do is go to our material instance. And here I will change the bar, bar color to white. Because we are also adding the change color function. So set this to all these to one. Press manually. And say so here, OK, and save it, and then close it. 
So then come here to here through the graph panel and just delete both of those events. Say compile and save. So here what we will just do, we will start with by creating a function and that function will be for for to set the percentage and it will set our percentage then it will be more easier due to that function we will not have to do the whole thing again again so here say a u function and one more thing before adding the u function make this in the public class so it should be public and here see here u function and here add a semicolon so in the u function what we are just going to do is make it a blueprint callable function so what this blueprint callable does is it just makes the execution pins which we need so here after you have created then come down and see here but so what we can we have to do is create a new property and in this new property i will say here edit anyway and this this should be changeable and see here So we can change the image and see here a uh, blueprint read write. So it should be also changeable from the blueprint and see here meta. So if you don't know what meta does, that it had some arguments like over here. So we will use meta to access this. So meta is a component for the UI creation, so it is called UMP what we are doing right now and we can access any of these components which we need. If we want to access the size box, we will take the name of the size box and specify it but right now we want to access image. So click on this and see your name, copy this and here go to the graph and here what I will just do is in the meta so whenever you want to get a widget so you have to say, say here bind widget to do that and in the u property specify a class and that should be our image so to get that so here i will say include and here we will include from components we will include image dot h so after you have imported the in, in, imported the image dot h then what you can just do is come here and see here class see here u image okay and just paste here give it a static Go to the designer tab and copy this name and paste it right over here. Add a semicolon like that. And similarly, do that thing to the U function also. So, here in the U function, here we will set up create a function called set person. Okay, and in the set person, I will select some of the arguments and the arguments which are float for the person and add a semicolon and see, one more thing which we will need is the material so to see, see here you material interface and see here static stands for a pointer and see here the material. Okay. 
So this function called U material interface will give us a drop down to select our material and that's why we are calling this. So now when you have defined our all the U properties and U functions, come over here to the CPP file and just copy this. So here say here void and just paste this file name and just add a U behind it. It stands for UI or UMP. And then here what you can just do is say here add here double columns to say here we have we want to access from this from this class and then what we want to access so the thing which we want to access is our set percent function so we can simply access like that and if the set percent was an return type of integer you can say here int theta similarly but in our case we don't have it and here what you can just do in the set percent after completing this all stuff you just okay so here what i will just do is here also i will import this image okay mm. So inside this, what we will just do is I will create a dynamic material. To do that, say here you material instance and add here a pointer. So this variable will be a dynamic material. So I will just call dynamic. And here we will say it to the null pointer. So it will be blank. So go to the Unreal Engine. Go to the map. See here compile. And so it will take some time. So it is showing an error. Okay. So the mistake which I did right over here. Which was uh, such a silly mistake. So we have to put all the include before the generated file. Remove this and now we see here compile. So now it should compile properly. Okay, it's compiling. Now go to this UI radial widget component, go to the graph and search here for set percent. So this is our function which we created in CPP radial. So the function which we created here, this U function. So now we can see that it's working properly. Connect this here. And what we will just do is promote this to variable. That's it. And select the material to the material instance which we created. And here compile and save. So now we can start. So here, here we will create a dynamic material. So if we call this function twice, then what will happen that it will make the performance more, more worst. So to not to do that, what we will just do, if we are again and again calling the function, then what I will just do is check here, dynamic material. And if this is equals to a null pointer, like that so i will just add it in brackets so if it is a null pointer then what you can just do is create here a dynamic material so to create a dynamic material i will see your dynamic mat see here see here equals to and here i will say u material instance and here i do a mistake have to see a dynamic so you material instance dynamic copy this paste it and here we will set it to you so 
here what we will just do is come here and set the dynamic material to from the function when we say here create so it's a class if i show you press ctrl and left click on it so now if we see it's a class so we so for accessing the class we use double colons and here you can see the class and here in the create function what i will just do is i will give it the material the material and here we will create for this so this is what if you ask so this is the ui widget which we are creating and go here so when it gets created we can continue here so what we have to just do is see here dynamic material so here so first let's set the so just come here go to the u property copy the variable paste it and from the u property we will call a function which is set brush from material okay so this what this does is applies the dynamic material or any material from here only to the ui so if you again don't know i will give a link to a documentation below for the ump from unreal engine so you can explore it to know more about this and here we will call this function and here specify our dynamic material okay so now if we see then it will apply the dynamic material and when it applies what i will just do is say here dynamic material and here we will set a scalar parameter so go to the material instance and we want to set this percentage so person just check the variable variable name and go here and here what i will just do is cut it and set scalar parameter so this is the parameter so we use scalar parameter to change and numerical parameters and to change color also we have one more parameters so there are many parameter again you can check it from the documentation so here we see value okay so here see here text in capital letters it should be capital and inside this what i will just do is paste the percentage which we have uh, seen from the material instance so we will modify this value and we will modify this value to what so this will be our float value of percentage which we are getting right add a semicolon save it and see a compile so after the compile gets created go here to the ui section go here to percentage and scroll down and set the percent default value it is it said 0.5 which means 50 percent if we go here so you can see it gets modified as we set it so that's the power of our cpp core and then here go here say so here user interface go to widget blueprint so wb underscore main press here in enter and search here for our ui radial bar widget so here we have it drag it and we will set this center this one over here and see anchor center line okay and here what i will just do is go here to the color i will change it see a compile and save and what we have to just do is go here to the blueprint say here open level blueprint 
and here say here create widget so we have almost done the whole process of the code see here wb underscore main set it to variable and i will name this variable to wb underscore main okay so i have it already created so i was testing for some time that's why it is showing so now if we say here wb main after deleting it and see compile save and see here add to do it so here compile and save so if we say here play so as you can see we have our radial bar and we have successfully created our radial function right over here so let's modify this a bit to select it over here and if you see here play and let's make it a bit tough compile and save again and again plus control and again see here come play and now we are having it at the perfect place so in the next episode we will build all the things of completing the ui we will make a speedometer and many else things we will do it afterwards so that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching